love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. Let's go and talk about Facebook lost again about a hundred billion dollars. If you look at the chart, about two months ago is for when Facebook peaked. They've got about 2.9 billion shares. Uh, back two months ago, share price about 193 dollars. That was a 560 billion dollar market value. Today, the same 209 billion shares at a, at 159 dollars a share. So now, now the value is still a massive, massive company, 465 billion. But we're, we're talking about about almost a hundred billion dollars of value just wiped off the face of the planet. And the fall began February 1st. So it's only been two months at a hundred billion dollars worth of value. Most of that loss though has come only in the last few weeks after the Cambridge Analytics data breach. Q1 is in the books, by the way. So the first quarter, 2018, finished down two and a half percent for the Dow, over one percent for the S&P 500 and over one percent for over two percent for the Nasdaq. This is a, this may be uh, remembered as the quarter where nothing happened until everything happened all at once. We started the, the beginning of the year off to the races. The world was perfect. The economy was great. Tax cuts were about to kick in. Stocks just nothing could stop stocks and we, they went straight up for almost a month and it, it we at one point we were up eight or nine percent on the year and then the wheels came off and the wheels came off almost completely and here we are sitting now net negative on the year after being highly net positive to start out the year uh, and, and volatility is back so it might be remembered though too a, a slightly less headliney story and that's that interest rates uh, started to climb higher. Uh, something that we've talked about, for, that we thought would be would have happened, should have already happened, but um, finally this quarter, we started the year at about a little less than 2.4% on the 10-year treasury. Today, we sit at two and three quarters. So we've, we've actually started to see rates climb higher. The Take, take a look at what's already happened this past week. Uh, tech route, 30% down for Tesla, which we'll get to in a minute, down 20% for Facebook, down 10% so far for Amazon. And and all, all in the same time period, the S&P 500, we've got to kind of compare and contrast to what the general market has done, is down about 8%. So Amazon's down a little more than the overall market, and that's actually not overly rare, it, but it might might just be the start. Uh, Facebook down 20, about 20%. It's, it's not uh, quite there from its high, but at one point last week it was down 20% from its high, and Tesla down about 30 Now, Tesla, another story here. Tesla has based their future on automated vehicles. And I, and I love their cars, by the way. I love Tesla vehicles. But I think they, as a company, and really the whole industry, is – Way too optimistic about the future of all, all these autonomous vehicles. We've talked about that here on the show. And again, we just had an accident in Arizona where an autonomous vehicle ran over a woman without even a smidgen of putting on the brakes. If you, if you watch the video, it was just straight through, no reaction whatsoever. So the future now of these autonomous vehicles, a driver that can be eating a sandwich, reading the newspaper... That's in question. So the future here is clouded as well. Tesla down 30% from its highs. Not to mention some of their bonds are getting downgraded. Uh, they just had a, a tranche of bonds worth almost $2 billion. So they borrowed just a tremendous amount of money. Not only have they, 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 they've been able to access funds through, uh, through equity raises, they've also issued debt. And that debt is beginning to come into question. Their, their bonds got downgraded to C AA1, which basically means junk. You've got bonds rated in the C range from A all the way down to B, down to C. You're talking about junk bonds here. And, and this is the tranche now worth almost $2 billion. So... We've got some real issues with, with these big technology companies that have seemed untouchable for so many years. Now they're starting to see some cracks in the armor. Now, let's go to Facebook. The point is that this intense public and regulatory pressure, that's building up on Facebook now. 
you know, and, and, and Facebook is one of these scenarios where they have gotten so monopolistic that they've almost taken over the entire Internet. And you, you've almost had to play ball with every business in America has to play ball with Facebook, has to be on Facebook, has to have an online media presence, has to have a social media presence. And then Facebook now can dictate what you've got to pay them to play ball. So we've got another company that's gotten so massive and so dominant with so few other ways or areas to go to. That you, you kind of get this winner, and this is part of the nature of technology. And that's why, as we evolve as a, as a nation and, and an economy, when you get a winner-take-all scenario, you get somewhat monopolistic tendencies. And look at what, what happens with smartphones. You only need one or two great smartphones, and then everybody else can go out of business. Well, you get one great platform like Facebook, and nobody else can even compete. And that's what you're starting, and the pressure has been building up on this. So I, I think what, what, um, what we're going to see here, and I talked about this at the beginning of the year, tech gets targeted. It was number six on our list of eight market trends for 2018. And I'm going to talk about when we return from a quick news weather traffic, I want to talk about what happened to IBM stock through the 1970s and through really through the early 1970s. Until 1981, what happened to their stock when they came under this great regulatory pressure as well? So it's a we've got to take a look at history to see what could potentially be facing these big technology names today. Oh, we we need to talk about IBM here. I, I do want to go to the phones here, but I promise we talk about what the, what happened uh, and in, in relation to tech. We're talking about big technology companies that effectively have. Seeming monopolies, they're a little different than the traditional definition because they're not, uh, on the surface, they're helping consumers. And that's, that was not one of the original intents of the, the Sherman Act of, 19, or of 1890 and the Clayton Act of, the Federal, uh, of 1914. But at some point, I think that these big companies like Amazon and Facebook are tipping over into kind of a new, the, the, let's call it the, the monopolistic virus has mutated. And they, they pose new threats because they are, as, a, as an entity, they've just hurt so many other organizations. Right or wrong, you can make a case politically that this is not good. They're, for everyone that they have helped with cheaper uh, delivery in a given day, they've hurt an awful lot of folks too. And here's what happened in the late 1960s. Um, if, if you go back and look at what happened to IBM, very similar. From 1970 through 1981, it was very Amazon-like in its domination. And the company was caught up in, these anti, in an antitrust skir skirmish with the Department of Justice. And the Department of Justice basically said, look, this company uh, has monopolistic tendencies. And for over a decade, IBM had to fight against that. So the, the battle that they had with the DOJ... The, the company's stock price declined for it back it, go back and look at a chart from eighteen dollars basically from eighteen bucks down to fourteen dollars over a twelve year period and this is for a company that that, that had over domination so they, and they got into they got into a fight a dog fight with the government uh, when when the suits were finally settled or dropped IBM's mainframe market share mainframe frame computing had declined not tremendously but from 70 percent down to 62 percent of the industry and over that same period of time that ibm stock price went down again 18 bucks to 14 bucks over a 12 year period the s p 500 was up 122 percent again s p 500 up 122 percent over the same period of time when ibm was actually net negative because of government regulation, government scrutiny, the DOJ. Remember that. Next time you hear Mark Zuckerberg say, hey, maybe we should be regulated. It's very much what he just said this past week or so. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step -step guide, whether in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, 
I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.